Ça va Nostalgic Hey guys, welcome to a quick ramen episode of Nama Japan. I'm here with Brian McDuxton, the famous ramen adventures guy. Hey, what's going on everybody? <laughs> and uh, today we're trying one of my, let's say, uh, nostalgia inducing ramen places. Um, it's one of the places that um, I went to when I first moved here to Tokyo and um, it got dear to me like after a lot of, you know, hang having hangovers, going there for uh, very salty, very fatty ramen. And it's, um, usually it's not my favorite. It's, uh, I think it's a seafood based. Um, it says katsu gyokai can, so it's made yeah. with a lot of katsu right. and dried fish. Which is usually not my favorite, but like this one is, is fantastic and the chashu is the specialty. And they have uh, one menu item which I want you to get. I mean, you, can right. <laughs> you can decide whatever you want. <laughs> but they have the double chashu ramen, which basically covers the whole ramen with a layer of, of super delicious and quadratic chashu. And um, maybe we're lucky, I don't know. They, today's the fifth, and in the past, that was like eight years ago, yeah. <laughs> they were always selling the chunks, like blocks of chashu every day, every time on the fifth, 15th, and 25th for like a discounted price of 500 yen. Nice. Um, and uh, maybe we also find out why they reduced the number of shops from five to two. <laughs> so like on their now halfway defunct website, they still have um, five stores, but like in reality, if you look at Google Maps, um, only two of them are left. And even the one where I used to live does not exist anymore. So this is like the only one left over. So maybe we can talk a little bit to them, ask them what happened. And um, yeah. yeah, you know, websites are not the strong point <laughs> of these kinds no. of ramen shops. So. Definitely not, definitely not. So let's check it out and let's get his opinion. Apparently, he went here seven years ago, something like that, seven years ago. So let's update yeah. that knowledge yeah. a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. something you remember? <laughs> yeah, definitely go for some double size one before. So that was a great chashu ramen bowl. Um, we actually found out uh, why they closed uh, the stores. So they used to be five stores and they were franchises. And uh, I guess two just closed because they were not profitable anymore, didn't work out so well. Out of one store, the one that I went to when I was younger, actually the guy who was running it, um, well, I guess his health condition got a little bit too bad to run oh, the died. store. Oh, you, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that. Pretty bad. <laughs> bad as you're hoping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, they closed um, everything up to two stores. So two, yeah. two of them are still available. One is, I think, out a little bit um, in the direction of uh, the mountains. If you take Chuo Line, now, I'm not. I'm sure. I'm gonna look up where it is and then put some links down below. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? It's yeah, the same. I like it. It's uh, you know, you said it's nostalgic for you. This is a very nostalgic yeah. style ramen. You got that really heavy seasoned fatty pork, kind of an intense soup, basic noodle memba. It's a really like standard, like sort of. It's that comforting 
style that a lot of people like. Definitely, definitely. And the fatty chashu. Yeah. I mean, if you're hungover, there's actually uh, some picture of a guy, of some famous guy, saying like, oh, it's really good when you're hungover. It's one of his favorites. Yeah, some TV show, I guess it was like, uh, <laughs> I think, hungover, hungover foods of Tokyo. Yeah, probably. I mean, this, this is a store that seems to be like, like it was uh, really big back in the days. Nowadays, um, it could use a little bit more love. Maybe we'll reach one or the other new customer uh, with this video. Um, what else is there to say? I mean, it's super convenient, which is always good. You know, it's right in the middle of Shinjuku. Yes. Uh, Shinjuku Sanjume, which is... Exactly. You got the East Eitan department, so it's everyone going to Shinjuku, Right, right. Uh, park right there. The gay district's right over there. <laughs> If you swing that way, yeah. why not? And uh, you know, it's the cool part of town. Booking shows right over there. So. Exactly. Exactly. People, you're here. You're here if you're in Tokyo. For sure. So swing by, try some awesome chashu, get the double, and uh, double. you'll not be disappointed. Yeah, it's not a crazy amount. It wasn't like no, it's insane. I think in the past, and, and maybe I can dig up some some old pictures. I yeah. think they did more in the past, <laughs> but times are tough, and uh, <laughs> the prices are through the roof. I don't know about that, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's still a very good place, so it hasn't lost any of its appeal. Just the times are changing, and uh, if he likes it, then probably you'll like it as well. All right, guys, that's all for today. And uh, if you like my videos, and if you want to see more of this guy, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also, of course, check out his channel. Um, if you watch my videos, you probably know his channel already. Ramen and, Adventures, uh, check it out. Ramen Adventures, uh, check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.